In this week's technology vidcast, IBM launches some self-service solutions for shoppers, iRobot releases the luge on gutters, the Xbox 360 is pushed to the limit by Halo 3, the handheld calculator turns 40, and Bluetooth connects with the University of Texas. Ever been to a shop ready to pick up one or two items only to be put off by a nagging salesperson or a line that goes on too long? Well, tech-savvy consumers could soon have the chance to take complete control of their shopping experience with IBM's new set of self-service solutions. Doing away with the traditional salesperson and checkout clerk, IBM's AnyPlace kiosk and self-checkout systems allow you to be self-sufficient. The kiosk's advanced infrared touchscreen technology can be used in shops, where the kiosk's realistic 3D graphics can be used to help you pick out clothes, in hotels where the built-in wireless capability allows you to easily locate local attractions, and also in hospitals to streamline your diagnosis. This could mean the end of long lines, and give you greater privacy for certain purchases and transactions. And if all that new technology is too overwhelming, human help is only a button away. Having a robot cleaning your home is no longer a thing of the future, as iRobot demonstrated back in 2002 when it released Roomba, the vacuum cleaning robot. The Roomba was a huge success because it allowed us to be lazy. All it needed was for you to press the clean button and its range of sensors did the rest. Well, iRobot is back with a robot that does more than satisfy your inner sloth. Luge, the gutter cleaning robot, allows users to tackle the problem with safety in mind. Cleaning gutters can be a dangerous task as you're perched on a tall ladder which you constantly need to reposition in order to clear out every last piece of debris. With the luge, all you need to do is place it in the gutter and remove it from the detachable handle. The handle doubles as a wireless remote, allowing you to control which direction the luge goes and which direction the three-stage auger spins. The auger spins at 500 RPMs to break apart and lift out needles, cones, and leaves, both dry and wet, all while brushing your gutter clean. Unfortunately, you can't use your Roomba to clean the luge. You'll need to use the garden hose for that. Have you ever wanted to save Earth and humankind from not one but two alien races using just a single cybernetically enhanced super soldier? Good news then, because the final installment of the Halo trilogy has been released for the Xbox 360 and places you back in the shoes of the game's iconic protagonist, Master Chief. The game's launch became the biggest entertainment launch in history when it was released, collecting 170 million US dollars in the first 24 hours of sales in the US. Featuring new weapons, new characters and new challenges, Halo 3 promises to fully utilize the technology of the Xbox 360. It has next generation high definition visuals and an advanced real-time lighting engine to complement the enhanced AI of the multitude of aliens you will face. The game's online multiplayer option is also available, if being humanity's last hope isn't exciting enough for you. In maths classes across the world, students are using handheld calculators to draw graphs and solve complex equations. The sleek, multifunctional machines that are being used today, however, bear very little resemblance to the very first calculator. Celebrating its 40th birthday this year, the handheld calculator is barely recognizable from its first incarnation, developed by Texas instrument scientists in 1967. Codenamed Caltech, the calculator was developed to introduce the world to the integrated circuit. It could perform four basic arithmetic functions, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, but used a thermal printer to display results. Weighing in at 3 pounds, it was a vast improvement on the 55-pound old transistor calculator released just one year earlier. Since then, Texas Instruments has developed much more powerful handheld devices for students and teachers. They've developed scientific calculators and programmable calculators capable of performing complex arithmetic functions. In 2000, Texas Instruments sold its 20 millionth graphical calculator after only a decade of producing them. And you can find out on average how many graphical calculators Texas Instruments sold each year for that period by dividing 20 million by 10 years. What do you use Bluetooth for? Most consumers associate the short-range wireless standard with hands-free talking, so the Bluetooth Special Interest Group has launched a campaign to raise awareness of Bluetooth's capability of connecting enabled devices securely without the need for cables. There will be five Bluetooth-enabled kiosks located throughout the University of Texas Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium that fans with Bluetooth-enabled phones can connect to. Once connected via Bluetooth, fans will be able to receive free Longhorns mobile content and a six-digit code that gives them a chance to win 2007 postseason bowl tickets. Outside of the stadium, students and fans can now use Bluetooth technology on the university's two most popular athletic websites, 
Using a web application called Transcend, users with Bluetooth-enabled PCs can wirelessly send site content such as schedules, rosters, player stats and team logos to their Bluetooth-enabled phones and PDAs by simply clicking on the Transcend icon. The whole process takes only a few seconds and is completely free of charge. It doesn't waste text message allowance or network minutes either. That's all for this week. This has been Richard Pine.